right, so here he is with much fanfare, the number one lightweight contender challenging for UFC gold here tonight. Hay is in the barn. He feels like he has put in all the requisite work to realize the dream. He's been working so hard. When you watch the videos, you can see a guy that will not accept anything less than being super prepared for the biggest opportunity of his career. He has worked diligently. He has trained hard. He has brought in training partners. He's done everything. Now it's all about going out there and executing. He said he feels he's ready to do that and become the UFC champion. But it must be stated in this division with all of the contenders, oftentimes you only get one crack. We'll see what he can do. Islam Makhachev ready to engage in another high-profile matchup. Championship fight. Now to get a start of the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Islam Makachev. And now, the the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world, Alexander the Great Bogonovsky! Herb Dean, our right. referee for this right. one. All right, here we go, second meeting. Alexander Volkanovsky and Islam Makhachev, their first fight at UFC 284, went to Makhachev. Hotly contested by some. You and I both thought Islam won. We'll see if Volkanovsky can make it 1-1 here tonight. You know, Volkanovsky is probably the most talented fighter in the world. His ability to prove between fights is not like anything I've ever seen before. But in the matchup with Mahachev the first time, we saw that Islam can stand with Volkanovski without being successful with the team. But he's got to be better tonight if he wants to win again. As I said, Volkanovski continues to win. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Clean punch. And he is back up to his feet. This fight's gonna be over. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high with his opponent, thought he was going low. And now he got hurt very badly. 
under three minutes now to go in what has been a very fast-paced opening round here. It's a nice jab by him there. So he needs to mix it up. He needs to start kicking more. All right, so an opportunity goes by the boards. He had him stunned, nearly finished, and now his opponent has recovered. His opponent recovered. Now he has to deal with everything that he did. Yeah, he should have got the fight finished at that point. All right, again, he shoots for a takedown here and unable to get it. So the takedown defense reigns supreme yet again. The takedown defense is holding up, Johnny. He's doing a great job of keeping his feet going backwards, sprawling, dropping his hips, and anticipating the shots coming. Very well done. Man, this is crazy, DC. These fighters are not trying to just touch each other. They're trying to put each other out with every shot. Down with every shot, these guys are trying to end the fight. What a start. Awesome level change. Great timing. Volkanovski gets back up again. Stuff to take down, no problem. Makashev's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Oh, beautiful jab there by Islam Makashev. 45 seconds remain in the round. Oh, how clean is that? Nice strike. They're so evenly matched, and they're going to attack. 20. How's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's going to be over very soon. Big moments on both sides in round one. All right, so there's the horn. It's amazing to think we got here, given how many times he rocked his opponent there in the previous round. Almost looked like a glorified sparring session, given how dominant he was. Yeah, it just looked like one guy that was much better than the other guy. He was hurting him every time he landed. And it's a testament to his ability and his accuracy in the stand-up. All right, so there's the horn. That means it's the end of the round. And a lot of good offensive wrestling work from him over those previous five minutes. I mean, great offensive wrestling. Every time he changed levels right, and got right. to his opponent's right. legs, he was able to secure the takedown. Let's see what type of fatigue his opponent will carry into the next round. Such a sneaky head kick he did not recognize it was coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. Back to the feet. Jab hurt him a little bit. And now he lands a combination. Look at the skip action that allows you to land that big knee. Oh, and he hip tosses him to the mat. Now we'll see what he can do from here, DC. Right into side control. He's going to try to control him, then find a submission. Oh, nice jab by Volkanovski. I mean, that right hand landed square. All right, so there it is again. Rinse, repeat, another takedown. Just like we mentioned off the jump, this wrestler has been up in his opponent's face all night. Well, according to the game plan, it would be take this guy down and ground him up. That's exactly what he is doing. Holy oh, smokes! Hip tosses him down. Now we'll see if he can advance position. I mean, right into side control. That punch right there. His opponent's going to out. That'll do it! Alexander the Great. Holy... Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest. At two minutes, two seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout. And still, the undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world, Alexander the Great Morgan. 
man. Straya, your guy, Windang, New South Wales, Australia. Alexander Volkanovsky by knockout tonight. Just another feather in this Hall of Fame cap for the Volkman. I mean, he annihilates guys. These guys aren't in the fight. He's out there just destroying them. And tonight shows once again why he is the top of the mountain at 145 pounds.